So all morning long, Greg Harper, our wonderful live eye, always putting himself, his body at risk, yes. and he's been teaching us the wonders of self-defense. And now he's joined by a very special artiste. And Greg? Yes. This is going to be interesting. Yes. Good morning, Riaz. How are you doing? Yes, it is going to be. Here with Jennifer Weintz now, who's just back from Los Angeles. She competed in the uh, World Jiu-Jitsu Championships. How was that? It was great. It was a great experience. Um, it's always good to, to see what areas I need to work on to meet other women. Yeah. That's good. So I, I talked with Tim, and we're going to talk to him in a second again. He's going to walk us through some of the uh, self-defense techniques we're going to we're going to see here. Um, he when he first started teaching, he said there was like one woman. Now there's like 30, but still only 10 yeah. percent uh, of the students that take Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu are women. Why do you think that is? Um, it can seem like an intimidating environment for a lot of women to come in. It's kind of a man's world. Uh, women, we have to raise families, careers, a lot of things get in the way. Um, so I really want to inspire other women and help other women stick with it. And when did you uh, get into this? I started about seven years, seven ago, years ago, and the jiu-jitsu bug hit me hard, and now there's no turning back. And what would you say to women who are a bit intimidated to come out and do something like this? It is very physical. Yeah, I'd say come, come train with me. Um, important is your partners, selecting good partners, and a good environment where you feel like a part of a family and everyone just really wants to help everyone grow and no egos involved. All right, yeah. the time to grapple now. We're going <laughs> to learn a couple more self-defense techniques here. Uh, we first, uh, we learned some throws uh, when you, if you're ever in a situation where you're attacked from behind. Now we're going to learn uh, some self-defense techniques. This is great for our female viewers what to do when you're on the ground. So here we go. Tim Shear is here, yeah. the head instructor and owner here at Gracie yeah. Baja in Vancouver is going to walk us through it. So. What's going on here? Okay, so this is a worst case scenario in a self-defense situation. The girl's on her back, the guy's between the legs. We call this position the guard position. Right. Okay, she's on guard. For us as jiu-jitsu practitioners, we're very comfortable in this position. We have a very good guard game. We can use our hips, our legs to sweep the person, to choke the person, to arm lock the person. Right now in a situation in a self-defense, the guy will probably be holding the neck down, exposing yeah. the arms, which is very vulnerable for the arm lock. Okay. So once Jennifer feels the arms exposed, she's gonna angle her body. She's gonna trap the arm, angles her body, so now she makes the arm even longer. This leg comes high into the armpit to get the leverage. Now here's where the arm lock starts. Her hips have created a fulcrum. His elbow's on the inside yeah, of the I can't fulcrum. Move my you feel it? Yeah, it's very, very dangerous on the on the uh, the elbow joint. Jennifer goes back to the wrist with her hand, so now she's got a good lever here. Her hips have created a fulcrum. All she needs to do is bring her feet to the floor, oh, her yeah. hips come and then I tap. Yes, and then you tap. Feel that pressure. If you don't tap, you're going to dislocate your arm. Wow, okay. So it's a very good technique. So that's the grapple. One more technique here. Uh, that's ideal. That's more for, for the worst case. She's on her back. Right. You're in between the legs. Now she's going to go But what if the, 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 the attacker has surpassed the legs and is in a mount position? Now the mounted position, okay? So now this is a bad is situation a for situation? Jennifer. Yeah. Now it's bad for her because now she doesn't have the use of her legs her hip movements right you're in a good position now you've got the advantage yeah so Jennifer needs to knock your base down so the first thing is bumping her hips that's how you came forward like yep. that it forces you to block then she traps one arm okay stop right there Jen now you cannot uh, put an outrigger out here to stop yeah. you from to moving and also she takes her leg and she blocks your leg okay so now your arm and your leg are trapped yeah all Jennifer so Nelson needs to do is bump her hips very high to make you fall on your shoulder here and then she's gonna roll to this to the guard now you're in the guard now I'm in trouble now it's her goal is to pass the legs coming around to the side mode now now you're in trouble Greg I'm in big you better trouble. be ready to tap man <laughs> So well, Jennifer is going to start setting the choke here, yeah. plus she's exposing your arm. She's pulling yeah. your arm, even at the elbow. See how she's got this grip? Yeah. Now you're just kind of stuck. They, they, they want <laughs> Jennifer to go yes. yes, okay, uh, get ready to tap my brother. No, no, here, here, tap on oh. him. Yes, <laughs> well, an arm bar. That's better than a choke. This is the same status. thing as she did from the guard, and this is the arm bar from the mount. Oh, wow, okay. And then you better tap. <laughs> she knows what she's doing. <laughs> wow, don't mess with Jennifer Wyant. No, do not. I can't believe you wanted her to choke me. What's going on there? Oh my goodness, Greg, another tough day at the office for you, huh? I know, I know. Unbelievable. Yeah, we were rooting for her, actually. You were rooting for her? Yeah. 
That's look, fine. That's looked, fine. Okay. It kind of looked like I a date gone awry. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> yeah, we'll catch up with you in just a little bit there, uh, Greg. Nice right. work. Excellent. Okay. And uh, really good tips as well uh, for the, us women out here. I know I could uh, take notes.